We are now going to configure the DNS mask and the host APD. So you need to download two files from the resource section for this video and these are the two files. The first one is dnsmask.conf and the second one is hostapd.conf After downloading these two files, put them in this new folder called Evil Twin Files. You can easily create this folder inside your home directory. Just click on the drop down list and select new folder. New folder. And then you can create this new folder. The DNS mask CONF file it contains the configuration for the DNS uh, DNS mask program. And now let's take a look at the content. All those lines starting with the hash are comments and will not be executed. They are just explanatory notes. So the first thing we set is the interface, which is WLAN 0. Then we also need to set the IP range range that can be given to the clients. Remember that our DNS mask is also acting as a DHCP server. So whichever customer Whichever client computer which connects to the DNS mask will be given an IP address which ranges from 10.0.0.10 to 10.0.0.100 and each of these lease will last for 8 hours. The word lease, L-E-A-S-E, -E, refers to how long this assign of the IP is valid for. So here we set 8 hours. We also need to set the gateway IP address so that the client will know who to connect to if they want to go to the internet. So this option here, DHCP option 3 sets the default gateway as 10.0.0.1. And 10.0.0.1 is the machine of the Kali Linux, which is the attacking machine. And as you can see here, option 3 means set the gateway, default gateway. Next, we need to set the DNS server. The DNS server is set to be 10.0.0.1, which is also the Kali machine. And option 6 means set DNS server. So our DNS mask is acting both as a DHCP server and also as a DNS server. And the last setting is where we do DNS spoofing. This is where we redirect all clients to our DNS server. The hash symbol here means any URL request. So when the client computer connects and makes any URL request, the DNS server will always, DNS mask will always redirect it to itself, to our own DNS server, which is listening on this IP address 10.0.0.1. Next is the host APDF file. So this file is where we specify the access point uh, which interface to use so we are using WLAN 0 WLAN 0 in this case is the for my case is your built-in network card then the next one is where you set your SSID in this case I'm setting it to iot lab because I want to spoof another real access point called iot lab 
and find the next one, the channel, I will set it to 1. And finally the driver. This is the driver for our access point. So the host apd config file will be read by the host apd program. Let's open the terminal. Before you can run our fake access point, let me show you first that I am having a WLAN 0 Wi-Fi interface and it is connected to uh, another access point and you can see this the network manager running so we have to kill the network manager because otherwise it will interfere with our fake access point as we do not want the network manager to run our fake access point we want to create ourselves so in order to kill the network manager we type service network manager stop and you need to do this every time before you start your access point. The next thing we want to stop is the uh, WPA manager, which is known as WPA supplicant. So we use the command mon-ng check kill to kill WPA supplicant. If we do not kill the WPA supplicant, we will not be able to create uh, access point so that is why it is necessary to kill it the next thing we want to do is to check the IP address if you type I have config you will see that my IP address for WLAN 0 is currently set to be 192.168.0.108 However, this is wrong. We need to change it to 10.0.0.1 because, as you can see from DNS math, our default gateway is 10.0.0.1, our DNS server is 10.0.0.1, and we also are going to redirect all URL requests to 10.0.0.1. Therefore, we need to set it to 10.0.0.1 so the command is ifconfig wlan 0 10.0.0.1 slash 24 alternatively you can also type 10 ifconfig wlan 0 10.0.0.1 netmask 255.255.255.0 They are both equivalent. 255, 255, 250 means slash 24. It's the same. Now, if you check our IF config now, you will see that our WLAN 0 is correctly set to 10.0.0.1 with the net mask 255, 255.255.0. The next thing you want to do is to set the default gateway for the Kali Linux machine to point to 10.0.0.1. But before doing that, we just check first by typing the command root-n. As you can see, when you type root-n, there are no default gateways, so we need to add it manually. And the command to do that is root add default gw for gateway. 10.0.0.1 and now we check again by typing root dash n and we see now the default gateway is correctly set note that if we do not do this step our web server will not be able to serve any web page to any client which connects to the access point so that is why it is very important to set this default gateway on the Kali machine. So, and that is all for this lesson. In the next lesson, I will show you how to start the services. Thank you for watching.